your normal classic car shop. This is DWS Classic. Whether it's buying them to flip them, building them to show them, which is driving the wheels off of them, we've got the best job in the world. Iconic vehicles from the past were meant to be driven. This is history driven. There's never a dull day here at DWS Classics. You know, we got bitchin' weather outside. We've got a lot of cool projects in the shop. We just got a Cuda that we found for a guy. We stripped it all down. It's a pretty clean car. Hopefully he doesn't have to replace the whole roof, but he probably will. I he, think he so. Get a lot of excitement <laughs> when he does that. Got a few small issues, but better than most. Really, it's a gem as far as builders are concerned. Lit a little media blast on some of it. Found out it's got some problems, they all do. So it's going on the tow truck here in just a minute, and then off we go to the body shop. Yeah, the roof's not quite as good as it looked like with all that Bondo and mud filling it in. So that's why we had it media blasted, because this was a car that had a vinyl top. Vinyl top roofs typically have some problems. And if you look at all of this, it looks like Swiss cheese, some very bad repairs done on this. And my guess is our guy is gonna say it's gonna be cheaper just to reskin the roof than try and fix all the garbage that we're seeing. And from the looks of this, yeah, I think most likely we're gonna, we're gonna wanna skin it. So, you know, we found a good one here. I mean, no matter how good they are, they've got their fleas. This one, you know, hey, the fleas are in the roof, unfortunately. But it sure could be a lot worse. We don't need quarter panels. We don't need floors. So we're in relatively good shape, I'd say. So we're about to get it on the tow truck, get it off to the body guy. Hopefully he's as stoked as we are about this thing, but uh, overall a really nice car. History Driven is brought to you by Chevrolet Performance, fueling the passion of automotive enthusiasts by offering crate engines, transmissions, blocks, and components for project cars. Total Cost Involved Engineering Incorporated. Quality doesn't cost, it pays. Motorsports, products for the specialty automotive industry that are high in quality and available for an affordable price. POR15, professional automotive and industrial coatings for permanent rust and corrosion protection. When I first got it, the car was in, in pretty bad shape, and, and I actually didn't, uh, I didn't buy it for myself. I uh, uh, purchased it for a cousin that was uh, 
sick and ill and uh, uh, wanted, he was off work and wanted a project to do. So I uh, bought the project and uh, um, let him take it home and, and it took him, uh, he lasted about another three months and he had passed away. And I uh, uh, took the car uh, back to my house and, and uh, said I gotta finish it. It took me about a year and a half to, uh, to build. I bought it in uh, 2016, 17. And, uh, you know, I take pride in what I do and, and I had a vision for this thing. And I, uh, um, you know, I have my own kind of style that I do with, with projects that I do. And, and uh, you know, I, I used a, a green interior and people were like, green? Um, but when I got it together that uh, uh, people uh, appreciated it and, and thought it was a little different. I've always liked the body style. I, I, like, the, I like the squareness of the body style. Um, it just got nice lines. I uh, bought the motor uh, out of Tennessee White Performance, uh, built the motor in Tranny and, and uh, it dynoed at like 510. It's a full roller motor, um, you know, and I bought a Bought a package deal, bought the uh, tranny and the, uh, the motor uh, as a package, and uh, I put it together myself. Haven't had any problems with it, and it's, it's strong, and it, it'll throw you back in the seat. It's all ride tech, suspension, air ride, uh, self-leveling, um, all strong arm, uh, big brake car. It's got 14-inch uh, bare brakes, six-piston front and rear. You know, I go cruising, I want to be uh, out in the sun, I want to be uh, uh, or on a nice summer night. Um, it's, uh, it's just nice to be out, outdoors, you know. I have cutouts on the car and, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm a kid at heart, man, and, and uh, uh, I want to make noise and I want to make the car go up and down and uh, I want to have tricks on it, you know, and I want to pull up to a light and turn the uh, turn the switch and, and everybody look, you know, and I guess uh, uh, I, I'm a attention seeker, you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but it's, uh, uh, it's fun for me, you know, it's, it's uh, uh, you, you know, you're, you go to a crowd of people and, and you pull up and you hit that switch and it's, uh, and it's a whole different ball game. I met, uh, uh, I met Darren at, uh, at a show, at uh, Grand National Show in, in Pomona in 2018. Uh, he's always been real humble and just like uh, uh, no better than and, and was willing to help out, you know, and, and uh, uh, yeah, that's why I kind of, you know, gravitated to him and, and uh, um, I uh, uh, turned out to be a good friend of mine and, and I appreciate the relationship. Looks like today's gonna be nothing but Chevelles because I just got a call from my buddy Brian. He's the head of Surf City Classics. They got a bunch of Chevelles are getting ready to cruise around down in Newport Beach. So I think I'm gonna hop in our 67 that we've got here. It's resto modded out. It's like 500 horsepower plus, wrap racing engine, five speed manual, just a sick ride. You know, you can't help but get noticed and get a lot of attention in this thing. It's fast, man. It breaks the tires loose just about any time you want. So I think I'm gonna take that thing out ring it out with the rest of the fellows in their shows. Playing a little hooky today from school, and uh, Junior is uh, absolutely my best friend, and we get to roll. And actually, tonight's Wednesday night; it's cruise night, so we're gonna cruise together, and we're just having a great time together out in the sun. Uh, it's it's something special. Make no mistake, but we're just taking care of these cars for the future generations. We're the caretakers. My dad's not here today; he just got out of the hospital. But three generations of Almas has cruised together every Wednesday night. Tonight's cruise night. Maybe he'll get out, but. Uh, Surf City Classics, we have so much fun together. Down at the car club, we have so many little grommets running around. 
little guys having fun. And uh, you know, it's really important that uh, we get them involved because if we don't, we're gonna lose a culture. And uh, that's why I always take them everywhere. He's my little best friend and we have so much fun together. And uh, you know, he's a little tired today. We woke up early, but we're having a great time. You know, it's special. We're a family with our group down at the Classic Car Club, Sur City. And uh, Sur City Classics is just amazing and we all do it together and, and it, it's a lot of fun to have that many cars on the road. Every time I start the car up, my blood pressure goes through the roof. Um, even when I turn the car off, like afterwards, I'm still, my adrenaline's going, I don't know what it is, just it gets my blood pumping and like there's just nothing else like it. There's no other adrenaline rush in the world for me at least. So I have a 1966 Chevelle. It's got a 572 inch big block Chevy. It's got a turbo 400 transmission. Um, it was passed down to me from my grandfather. Uh, he bought the car when I was about four years old. And ever since I was about that age, me and him spent every weekend together going to car shows, going to drag races, fixing this car up. And unfortunately, when I turned about 12, uh, my grandfather was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, um, so that's put him on a little bit of a decline. I had a tattoo of the car and his name on my arm. So to be able to get the car and to be able to pass his legacy on, um, it means the world to me. And hopefully I'll be able to keep the car in my family for many generations and you know, my grandkid will be able to get the car one day and have the same memories. So. Following up on the Chevelle success in 64 and 5, they decided to do a body restyle in 66 and 7. They call it a Coke bottle type silhouette for the body. They're a little more round, they're not quite as square as the 64 and 5s. Very handsome, the public loved them, collectors love them today, and they are hot always. And they had those in 396 SS's, and those cars sold a ton. Every two years, Chevy seemed to want to change the Chevelle body style a little bit. So in 68 and 9, again, they hit another home run, another handsome Chevelle, but really the car everybody wanted, SS396, the ultimate Chevelle. The last of the good-looking Chevelles has got to be the 70 to 72s. That was the pinnacle year, and collectors today also want that SS454 from 1970, especially if it's an LS6. Uh, instead of the LS5, they're both very powerful 454s, but the LS6 is the top dog, and they're a big money collector today. So if you've been cruising old classic cars for a while, you'll find out, you know, every once in a while you're going to have some kind of an episode with one of these old cars, they're going to act up, and today's no different than, you know, than everybody else for us. Hey, so we're broke down here in Newport Beach, and uh, well, here's what it is. See, he's got an alternator bracket with heim joints. One of them broke, so one belt got loose, took out the other belt. The boys were out there getting belts. To get these off, I had to pull off the fan and the shroud and everything. So um, in our emergency tool kit, I happen to have a small bag of some uh, leftover heim joints and uh, adjusters, and they're really meant for a sway bar. And what I did is I'm just making another uh, alternator adjustment bracket out of those parts. You kind of improvise and uh, hey, it's going to work. So we get some belts back on here. We'll be back on the road in a few minutes. We get the fan and all that put on and just a matter of minutes, we'll be done and back on the road. And then my spare tools that I was carrying around with us, you know, we got some of the bare essentials and stuff in case you get in a little jam. Well, there happened to be a sway bar link in there too, a nice adjustable bitch and billet piece. So I pulled that thing out. We adjusted it up. Hey, we're back on the road. We had ourselves a makeshift alternator bracket. You do what you gotta do sometime.
History Driven is brought to you by Chevrolet Performance, fueling the passion of automotive enthusiasts by offering crate engines, transmissions, blocks, and components for project cars. Total Cost Involved Engineering Incorporated. Quality doesn't cost, it pays. Motorsports, products for the specialty automotive industry that are high in quality and available for an affordable price. POR15, professional automotive and industrial coatings for permanent rust and corrosion protection. Well, Chevelle, you know, uh, from sure back in the 70s, Chevelle was known for being the street race car. So I had to start out with one of those. And I, then I had to go back to my high school days whenever I had a 69 and I built that from the ground up and raced around in high school. So, you know, I had to venture back to those days. So uh, I'm fulfilling that dream also. Been a Chevy guy through and through my entire life. Clear, clear from high school. So behind me, this beautiful car, it's a 70 Chevelle. It is just incredible. And uh, our buddy Tall Mike finally brought it by the shop. He's got the restoration completed on it. Everything's done, it's dialed in. He's out there just driving the heck out of this thing. Well, the car started out as a frame up restoration. The car was completely disassembled. To get the drivetrain rolling in the rear, we put in, I had a strange engineering build me a uh, four nine inch with uh, sporty, 40 spline axles and uh, 350 gears. So I wanted to go something with a lot of power, but uh, semi streetable. So I put a 565 cubic inch big block Chevy in it, uh, running 11 one compression. Uh, with a 715 lift cam in it. So then uh, I had to have something to uh, hook up to the engine as far as transmission. So I went with a 4L80E, a four speed overdrive transmission. If we're gonna go fast, we have to stop fast. So then I went with Willwood four wheel disc brakes. So I have six piston in the front and four piston in the back. One of the things we like to do is in Huntington Beach, they have a street called Main Street. We like to cruise up and down that. And every time I do, uh, it just draws a crowd around, uh, off the sidewalks into the street because they can hear it coming for about two blocks away. And uh, everybody's giving me thumbs up and uh, you know, clapping their hands, wanting to hear the motor rev and stuff like that. And as I'm driving up and down PCH uh, by the ocean, you know, there's a lot of classic cars doing that, but it uh, seems like everybody else is uh, paying their attention to my car because it stands out so much. And of course, when you hear the motor run, it definitely gets your attention. So we've had our ride. Man, the thing, it just vibrates. It makes all kinds of noise. The thing is so sick. <laughs> Dude, what can I say, man? We went for a ride. I'm excited. The thing is cool. 
you know, I'm still feeling the adrenaline pumping through myself. That car is something else, man. He wouldn't let me drive it, but you know, dude, you don't need to drive when you're feeling 800 horsepower through the seat.